Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Log, and finally, finally we have the official rating of the film and the runtime. And I know a lot of you guys were hitting me up yesterday saying, you know, what's going on? You know, I, you know, IGN is posting this, and they said these places confirmed it, but you know, the, if you go to those places, you couldn't see it confirmed. And then other people were writing me like their ticket stubs, and they were like, hey, like if you go in, you can buy, you know, tickets to the movie already, which we'll make another video about in a second. Uh, but they were like, you can already get your tickets, and it says on AMC PG-13. But then when I went to my AMC page, like when I just went to the website, for whatever reason, in this area in California, it still says NA, like not available at some of the AMC theaters here. So I, I was like, what's going on? What's happening? And someone's like, maybe use the app. Maybe the website hasn't been updated yet. And there's all these things. But uh, finally, we got 100% confirmation that the movie is PG-13. Because if you go to the Venom movie website, uh, which I would say you can't get any more official than that. Uh, if you go to the website, boom, right there, you'll see it. PG-13 right at the bottom. And, uh, and that is the official rating of this film. And the official runtime is 1 hour and 52 minutes minutes. Uh, so I want to talk real briefly about the rating because I know a lot of you guys were really hoping for rated R and I'll, I'm going to be honest with you there was a part of me that was too. Um, I didn't make or break the movie for me overall. I still think and hope it's going to be a good movie uh, but you know the rated R thing I always just assumed that this movie went into production because of the success of movies like Deadpool and Logan. And, uh, and, you know, this movie has been on the shelf at Sony for a while, and it just sat there and sat there. There's been many iterations of it, many different versions of it, and I know some of you guys want me to do a video talking about all the versions that could have been, and maybe we will. I've got enough requests for it now that maybe I'll actually consider it. Um, in our earlier videos, we did kind of go over some of that, but for those are, that are new here and stuff and haven't gone back and watched those, maybe we'll make one video, you know, just focusing on that. Uh, but I probably won't do it till after the movie comes out, so just to give you a heads up, it might be a while, but uh, it's definitely something I'll I'll probably talk about. Uh, so the movie sat on the shelf for a long time and it never got off the ground and after Deadpool was a success and Logan you know was about to come out and anticipated to be a success this movie just boom all of a sudden starts happening and then boom they get Tom Hardy and then they start going into pre-production and then it's on you know off to the races they film it in a relatively quick time they get it out you know within like a year and a half or you know less than two years of them starting on it uh, and it's just crazy this movie went pretty fast and so I always assumed that it was going to be rated R and I think a lot of us did too because we just were like oh this will be a good way to do Carnage justice maybe not even Venom because you know a lot of us grew up with the Spider-Man comics and that's where Venom appeared and he wasn't too hardcore to be in a standard you know Spider-Man comic so he was already you know kind of built for that PG-13 audience anyway even you know if he said he was going to rip people's you know brains out and eat their brains and stuff he never really did it for the most part in the comics um, it wasn't until Matt Gargan came in later where he started eating people you know and that was like Thunderbolts and uh, I would say that's you know borderline mature rated but not really it still kind of fits in that PG-13 realm and so uh, because of that you know, I think the character always lends itself to the PG-13, but I think a lot of us were just thinking for Carnage, like, oh, if they do Carnage in the sequel, it, it needs to be rated R because Carnage is a serial killer and there's all these things you gotta, you know, push the boundaries with him. And uh, again, he also did appear in Spider-Man comics, so maybe it was on some level, maybe we shouldn't have assumed that. Uh, you know, he's always existed in a PG-13 setting and he's been in, you know, standard comics. I think some were mature rated though, like Mind Bomb and It's a Wonderful Life. I think those are mature rated uh, because of the themes in there and stuff. Uh, but for the most part, he's been in standard Spider-Man books. So I guess it's not deviating too far, you know, being PG-13 and all. So, uh, so I don't think we should be too bummed out. And I think at the end of the day, really what matters is, is it a good movie? Does it have a good story? Does it tell a, a compelling enough story that, uh, you know, Venom origin without Spider-Man, do they do that well? Is the acting good? You know, and we can see in some of the later trailers and new TV spots, you can hear some of the, you know, voice work for Venom kind of cleared up a little bit. You can kind of see some of this visual effects touched up. Um, you're starting to see the final product. And I think uh, they probably listened to some of that feedback when they released those early trailers out and the, you know, stuff after Comic-Con. And we're like, okay, let's um, tone this down or change this up a bit. And they probably, you know, no doubt they're working very hard on this movie because they probably either recently finished it or finished enough of a cut to where it's close enough to being done that the MPA could finally rate the movie. And so we all been waiting patiently and it's been this ongoing thing online. And there's a lot of people out there that think if it's PG-13, it's already an awful movie and they should have made it R. But I think a lot of those people were already going to not like the movie anyway. And even if it was rated R, they still would crap all over the movie. 
And then there's those of us who wanted it rated R, uh, but, you know, are okay with it being PG-13. And that's kind of the camp I'm in. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys, though, are, are different. I know some of you are really disappointed that it's not rated R. So if you are, let me know down in the comments below. Is this going to, you know, prevent you from seeing the movie? Are you still, you know, trying to remain hopeful? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like I said, for me, this was never a deal breaker. I just wanted to know from an official source. And for all those people that were listening to the Variety article and everything a couple weeks ago, I guess I'll give you credit, you know, because you listened to them and it turned out to be right uh, but for me I needed to see it from an official source either the MPAA or something Venom you know Sony related specifically so once I saw it on the website this morning I was like okay that's hundred percent confirmed and uh, and so without a shadow of a doubt it's PG-13 now and the runtime hour and 52 minutes I do not think is a bad thing I think a lot of people were hoping for like a two and a half hour movie uh, I personally don't like movies that run longer than they should uh, there's you know I'm as a writer too like I have always been told that scripts typically you want to get between 90 and 100 pages and each page equals about a minute of screen time roughly so you kind of want to aim for an hour and a half to an hour and 40 minute like script because that way you can keep the story nice and tight you don't have to have a lot of filler in there um, and then if there's anything that needs to be cut or added they can always do that in filming or when they film a scene maybe it you know a one page scene turns out to be like two three minutes in a movie uh, there's a lot of things like that that they do so it's it's a that's kind of the rule there is when you're writing you want to try to keep it in there and uh, I think this being one hour and 52 minutes I think that's a great length for an origin story for Venom. I think Blade was just under two hours when it first came out. And I think a lot of those, you know, earlier comic book movies were. And nowadays everybody wants to make this big epic and this big two and a half hour event juggling a lot of characters. But this movie is a little bit smaller than that. Remember, this is an origin story. So this is like more like Iron Man 1 kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of to the point and they don't want a lot of fluff in it. And they want to just get to the story that they want to tell and present it in the best way possible. And if there's anything excessive, they'll cut it out and they'll probably put it on the Blu-ray and DVD release is when those come out. So I'm not upset by the runtime either, uh, but I know some of you were. I think a lot of you <laughs> think movies that are over two hours are like, you know, that makes it a good movie, and that's not the case. A good movie could even be an hour and a half sometimes. You know, you just don't want the movie to you know drag too much uh, and then you also don't want the movie to go by too quickly and I think around that one hour 45 one hour 50 minute marker that this movie is hitting at at 152 I think that's a good sign that hopefully we got a well-paced well-structured story for Venom which as Venom fans it's all we could you know hope for and ask for so again let me know your thoughts down below I really appreciate you guys watching this and waiting for my video on it I've decided before I go check out my new apartment I would go ahead and record this now and get it out of the way so let me know your thoughts if you agree with me or if you disagree with me let me know in those comments down below and we can continue the conversation down there thanks for watching my show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace